Good morrow, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and this is a two-part holiday series. As I said in my intro, this is a two-part holiday series. To be more specific, I'm going to be doing a naughty elf and a nice elf makeup look in two separate videos. This video is the nice elf video. So, for the nice elf, I'm taking inspiration from candy canes, my candy cane nails, as well as all of the like bright lights and bright colors and peppermints, just all things in that spectrum from the holiday season. So without further delay, let's get started. First thing I want to do is brighten up this lipstick because right now I have Goth Topic on just so my lips aren't naked. But I'm actually going to switch over to Wet n Wild's Missy and Fierce, which is a much more candy red color. Alrighty, a more cherry red color. Feels better. Next, my eyebrows are really distracting me, so I think I'm going to put a little bit of concealer over them and then go over them with a lighter color. Ow! Ow. Oh, my palette's just fell on my foot. For now, I'm going to go into this dark blonde color and go over my brows. There, a lot more muted than the other colors. So the main color palette that I'm going to be focusing on is red, white, and gold. I may put other colors in there, but for right now, red, white, and gold. So to start everything, I'm going to be using the white from the Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to go over my whole lid and go all the way up to the brow. Alrighty, now I'm going to take the Palais Royale Red, and with this brush, I'm going to do just the lid. Now I'm going to take a very small, narrow brush, go into that red again, and I'm going to do sort of a stripe up towards the eyebrow. And the same on the other side. Now I'm going to take the same narrow brush and line under my eyes. Now I'm going to take my red Wet n Wild Multi Stick and line my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to take that red brush again and go right under the eyebrow to connect those lines. So now I'm going to take a poofy brush and get this red in the Wet n Wild palette, lightly, and I'm going to add blush. Next up I have the Wet n Wild Neutrals paint palette, and I'm going to use this light brown right here. And I'm going to do a little spray of freckles. Alrighty, so now I'm going to hop into a little SFX. And by little, I do mean little. I have this little nose prosthetic. And we're going to add it on and blend it in. So that means I have to take the makeup off my nose. <laughs> I look like I've had the sniffles now. A little red nose. A glimpse at my natural skin tone. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to be honest. I had every intention. And I do mean every intention. On doing this prosthetic using Prosade. But... I'm going to save the prosade for the second video. For this one, I'm going to use my handy dandy old reliable liquid latex. And my lipstick applicator. 
You have no idea how many times I've lost this little nose prosthetic. Ooh, I'm putting liquid latex on this and I'm putting it right on my nose. Commitment. Devotion. Alrighty, now I need to blend it. And unlike bites and scrapes, I'm trying to keep my lines as smooth as possible because I just want this to blend in like it's part of my nose. Alrighty, I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and do foundation. Alrighty, so it's dry, it's stinky, it's making my nose run. So let's hurry up with this, okay? Just a little bit of foundation. That was probably a lot of it, but that's okay. I'm currently regretting doing my freckles first because now I'm thinking I'm going to just destroy them with this. So we'll just go back over it and do more freckle. I have to hold the nose still or it'll bounce around. I'm actually going to go in with a smaller brush, like my contour brush, and try to get some fine details in there. Alrighty, it's not perfect, but it no longer looks like something that Buffy would fight. So I'm going to put a little blush on it, touch up my freckles, and see how it looks. Everything's falling. Alrighty, now I'm digging into my bag of ears and finding the perfect ears for this look. I'm going to go with these super realistic latex ears. I'm going to touch up a little bit of the contour on the tip of the nose as well. Just to bring it in and make it a bit of a cohesive look. Now that I've added my last piece of jewelry, my last step is to put some silver right in the corners of my eyes. Alrighty, so this was me doing a nice elf makeup look. Remember, this is a part one of two video series, so be sure to check out part two when I do a naughty elf inspired makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye! <laughs>